hypothesizing is often loosely defined as thinking beyond a text or having an aha. And although these are accurate explanations, many teachers question, so how does a synthesis differ from a summary or an inference? There are several ways that readers infer or think about a text. They can think about the main ideas. They can think in pictures like visualization. They can think about connections or questions or syntheses. All of these are types of inferences. Think of an inference as an umbrella, and each of the comprehension strategies is a spoke under the umbrella. Synthesis is one of the spokes. It's one of the types of inference. Now, before readers could ever synthesize, they have to be able to summarize. This isn't an either or. You aren't either summarizing or you're synthesizing. No, summarization leads to synthesis. According to the College and Career Ready Standards, a synthesis is when you integrate multiple details from multiple texts to generate a new, bigger thought. Now, let me say that again more slowly and really point out the different components to that definition because along the way we're going to define what a summary is and what an inference is. Just putting together multiple details from a text isn't a synthesis. It's more likely a summary. When a reader collects details from a text and then restates those details, he is restating or retelling. If the reader repeats the ideas of the author, he's not thinking beyond the text, he's simply summarizing the text. So if a summary is just retelling details from the original text, then an inference adds the new and bigger thought. That new or bigger thought, that inference, is the idea of going beyond the text, saying something that the author in the original text never said. But this is where some teachers get confused between inference in general and a true synthesis. Think of it this way. All syntheses are an inference, but all inferences are not a synthesis. After reading a text and collecting many details, a reader can put those details together, think about them, and generate a brand new thought. And aha, that is an inference. But in that example, that inference or aha was not a synthesis. No, you have to look closely at how the standards define a synthesis. Like an inference, a synthesis will integrate multiple details to generate a new or bigger thought. But the difference happens in where these details come from. A true synthesis pulls the details from multiple texts. This is what makes synthesizing so much more difficult. Now, students have to read multiple texts. They have to juggle the details and information from all those texts, combine, integrate them to generate a new, bigger thought, something that none of the authors previously said.